So this is gonna be a pack with me for my final trip to Dallas this season. I'm so excited for him to be home, but I'm going to Dallas slash Arlington, Texas for 10 days to sort of end the season with Matt and then we're gonna come back. So I have a lot of packing to do. First though, I wanna give a little review of my luggage. This is Bay's luggage and every time I post it, you guys always ask a ton of questions. So I thought we could start off the pack with me with just a little informational session. So here she is. I have the full gray set. So I have the three suitcases and they nest, meaning they all fit within one another for really easy storage. So I have all three. I think there's a slight discount if you buy the entire set, but I will double check on that. And I have this really pretty gray color. Now I got this luggage set over a year ago and I have traveled with them many, many times. I've definitely gotten a lot of use out of them so far and I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of how they work. So I will say my overall review is very positive. They roll really easily and they roll in all directions. They are very easy to get around the airport with. Even when these bigger ones are packed absolutely full and I have a problem with overpacking so you know these are heavy, they roll very easily. One thing I do have to say, and this is a common criticism of the base luggage, is that they scuff. They do show scuff marks from being manhandled at the airport. This is the larger size. I got the gray one specifically because I heard the beige one scuffed the worst. But even you can see the gray one has a decent amount of scuffing. However, I do have to be honest, I've never put a ton of effort into getting the scuffs out. I sanitize my luggage with disinfecting wipes every time I come home from traveling, but I've never used something like a glue gun or a magic eraser or something like that on this luggage, so I'm not sure if that would get the scuff marks out. All I know is they definitely scuff, and I've heard the beige one scuffs the worst, but the gray does too. I think this luggage does come in black and navy blue, so I would imagine if you really don't want to see any wear and tear, those would be the best colors. I don't mind a crazy amount. I really don't. For me, luggage is meant to be used. The scuff marks just mean I'm getting a ton of use out of these babies and I'm traveling, so I'm not super pressed, but it's definitely worth mentioning. All of the bag sizes have the same insides. There is a zippered compartment on one side that has these two little pouches. You can put smaller valuables or just separates in there. And then the other side has these straps. I know some people have trouble getting the buckles on the straps open. I've never had an issue and I really like the zippered compartments. Sometimes I'll put dirty clothes in there on the way back from a trip. They have this combination locking mechanism, which is great, but my favorite feature of these bags is this, which is a weight indicator. So say this bag was full and it was over 50 pounds, there's actually a scale in the handle. So if you lift this up and that little section flashes red, that means it's over 50 pounds. Like I said, sometimes I have a tendency to overpack, so that's really helpful for me. I have definitely been in a few embarrassing situations at the bag drop off before I had these bags where my bag has been overweight and you have to go to the side and open all your bags and you have to throw things everywhere trying to figure out how to lighten it. So that's really a lifesaver. And then one more feature is this little clip. It says base right here and it goes like that. If you want to hook a, like a handbag or your personal item through there, you can hook the bag, clip it back in and then it's dangling off the side. So you, one less thing to carry around the airport. And another great feature is that all of the bags do extend. So they unzip like that and you, you get an extra, I don't know, two, three inches of room. My favorite features of the base luggage are the weight indicator for sure and how smoothly they roll. And the biggest con I would say is the fact that they do scuff pretty easily. But other than that, I'm really happy with them. I think they're chic and stylish. They look great. I can always recognize it. I especially like having the gray because it's a little bit more of an unusual color. Whenever I fly, particularly between big airports like JFK, LAX, DFW, you definitely see a lot of the beige base luggage coming through the conveyor belt, but with the gray, I always know which bag is mine. And yeah, look how easily that spins. I love that. Okay, let's get started. I have become such a packing pro this spring between going to LA for work, visiting Matt in Dallas, going home to see my family. I've gotten real good. I have some tips and tricks I love to use, which is great because I don't have a lot of time to film this video. I love a good old fashioned handwritten 
packing list. Here is mine for this trip. So when I make a packing list, I like to do a little brain dump up at the top where I say a couple of things we might be doing, any plans we have, any notes I want to remember when deciding what to bring. So this time, I know I'm going to two games. We're gonna have a pool day, but there is also a pool at Matt's apartment complex, so I might spend some time there. Matt's birthday is while I'm in Texas, so I'm gonna bring a birthday dinner outfit. I need to film an ad for Princess Polly while I'm there. I'm gonna bring everything for that. I wanna do at least two workouts, but majority of my days are gonna just be spent doing work, editing, so comfy clothes for that. Two flights, it's very hot there, I need to remember that. If we have time and if he's not too tired from training, we would like to go on a Fort Worth date night. And a big thing for this trip is I actually need to bring extra luggage because Matt has accumulated some extra things since he's been there. He's done a little bit of shopping while he's been there. Just some stuff, he needs some extra bags. So I'm gonna try to bring some extra duffel bags in with my luggage and I'm gonna leave room in both of my suitcases so that Matt can put stuff in my bags as well. So I'm going to bring a carry-on, a checked bag, a personal item, and I'm going to bring extra duffel bags in my checked bag. It is a lot of luggage for 10 days, but it's kind of unusual circumstances because Matt is literally moving back here but I just find that the list really helps me. And then I divided up tops, bottom, gym, miscellaneous, you know, all the good things, and I give a general idea of the stuff I'd like to bring. If I don't stick to this 100%, it's not the end of the world, but this just gives me a general idea. So I like to start just by pulling out all the clothes I'm thinking of bringing and dumping them on my bed so I can organize them and put them in my packing cubes. Top of the dresser is a little bit of a mess because I've already started pulling products and everything. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen this dresser yet. I don't know if that's shown up in a vlog. We finally got the new dresser I've been talking about forever. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So I have written down two workout sets, so I'm just gonna pull those. I will wear these to work out. Actually, I might bring three because it's also great loungewear. I know I want to bring two of these identical Princess Polly tank tops that I have and wear literally all the time. I must have like five of these by now. They're just, they pair with everything. They're great for layering. They're incredible basic. So I know I'm gonna bring those. And then I also wanna bring just some casual little t-shirts. So this is my Realization Par Leo t-shirt. And then this is just my Jerf Avenue little Rufus t-shirt. Just easy, it's gonna be so hot while I'm there and you guys know how I feel about the heat, so I'm just trying to keep it very casual. Going to bring this black Skims tee. I also have a navy blue Abercrombie tee that looks similar, I'm gonna bring that too. And then I'll bring this little black cap sleeve shirt again, just for either lounging or doing something casual. For socks, I'm going to bring every pair of socks that I currently have that is clean and washed. I do have a little bit of laundry in the dryer. So hopefully some of these socks have matches. Look at these, three unmatched 437 socks in different colors. Where are the other ones? And then I'm gonna bring every piece of underwear I have. This is so random, but I sleep in different underwear than I wear during the day because during the day I'll wear like, I don't know, whatever underwear the outfit calls for, but I'm very particular about the underwear I sleep in for vaginal health. So I have separate sleeping underwear. Sometimes I don't wear underwear either, and that's, a lot of doctors say that's good too. I'm gonna bring a pair of shapewear shorts because I like to wear them under dresses. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Is 16 pairs of underwear enough for 10 days? Under normal circumstances, yes, but when you're traveling, I just get so anxious about the number of underwear pairs I'm bringing, so. Just gonna be safe, okay? I'm just gonna be safe. So here is what all of my organized piles look like. These are the four pairs of shoes I'm gonna bring. Birthday dinner slash date night heels. I'm gonna wear my Air Force Ones. Those are for the pool, and then those are my gym shoes. I have jackets. This is the heavier one, so I'll wear that on the plane. I don't think I'll need them because it's like 100 degrees there, so if I run out of room, these will be the first to go. Undergarments, T-shirts, I have denim shorts and one pair of long jeans. These are two non-t-shirt like cute tops in case I wanna look nice for a video or in case we go on another date night. I have the birthday dinner dress and then this is a little workout dress that will be good for running errands when it's hot. 
a sleep t-shirt and a cute set of pajamas because I haven't seen him in a couple weeks. You know the vibes. Two pairs of sweatpants. I will wear one of these pairs on the plane, not sure which yet. My jackals jersey and hat. Three bikinis and one cover-up. Two workout sets. These are the three purses I'm gonna bring. And then this is my Princess Polly product for the shoot I'm gonna do with them. So there is some overlap because obviously with the Princess Polly clothes, that consists of tops and dresses. So I am gonna go through and consolidate and maybe take some of my t-shirts out because I have the Princess Polly stuff. I don't know, we'll see. This is my starting point. So I definitely believe in the power of a good set of packing cubes. I got mine from Amazon. It sounds like a gimmick. I swear they're so helpful, you guys. So I'm just gonna go through and put everything in a packing cube. I'm kind of organizing by type, so like sweatpants and workout sets are going together. And I also like to roll my clothes. I feel like they just fit better. But there isn't, I mean, there isn't a ton of method to the, bat, the madness. So I'm obviously gonna put like tops together, underwear pieces together, you know. that stuff fit into these three packing cubes. I still have jacket, purses, the duffel bag, and pants, or these are just shorts, and then this is the outfit I'm gonna wear to the airport tomorrow. Okay, I have all my stuff in here. I'm gonna start with the checked bag. I'm going to put Matt's duffel in here. And then also on that side, I'm gonna put my shoes, but I like to put my shoes, just tuck them into grocery bags so they don't get anything dirty. I'm a dumbass, I'm wearing these shoes tomorrow. I really wanna bring my cowboy boots. I wanna bring my Tacobas, but they're so heavy. My bag has been overweight before because of those damn shoes. But I also don't wanna to go to Texas without them because they're adorable. I already think I might have to take some stuff out of here. We'll just see what happens. Then on top of that, I'm gonna put my bag. Well, no, I'm not gonna put my bags in there. Sure. Well, should I not? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm changing my mind here. This is my check bag, and this duffel is LV, and then I have a vintage LV and a vintage Dior satchel. So, because those are nicer, I am gonna put them in my carry-on, just in case. Yeah, never know. Also, learn the hard way to always travel with your backup medications in your carry-on. Because one time I was traveling and it wasn't really my fault. I was traveling through a country where they didn't allow certain types of medications to be carried in your hand luggage, like you had to check them. Um, I had a layover in Turkey and I think it was my mood stabilizer that they just wouldn't allow me to carry in my carry-on. So I put it in my check bag and then of course they lost my bag and then it took a long time to get it back and I just didn't have my meds at all. So now I know better and I always keep a backup supply here and I take my meds in my hand luggage as often as possible. Obviously you have to abide by other countries' rules. Let me tell you, I got roasted for that on TikTok at the time. People were like, how could you be so stupid as to put your medicine in your blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, the country I was in literally didn't allow it, so I don't know what you want me to say. I want to have room in my check bag for all of my toiletries. I have a lot of travel size stuff, but there's a few products that are full size, so that obviously has to go in a check bag. So I'll just start putting clothes in. We'll just do what we can here. And again, I am trying to leave some room for Matt just in case the duffel is not enough. Ooh. Oh, we're actually doing, ooh, we're doing really good right now. Oh my God. Okay guys, look, I still have this entire half of the suitcase empty and there's still room in there. And all I have yet to put in is my tiny little jewelry and accessories case and then my makeup and skincare pouches which are, also aren't very big. So we're doing really well. All right, let's briefly talk my personal item. The specific bag that I use for my personal item just depends on my needs for the trip, but this time I'm gonna use this black leather, leather, what am I saying? Black leather backpack. I got it from Nordstrom Rack, but the brand says Matt and Nat. So this is gonna be the bag. I have two books, 
planner and travel journal because Matt and I will be planning our European summer. Manifestation journal, glasses, headphones, camera battery charger, birth control. This has all of my medications and supplements in it, plus some ibuprofen. Laptop, iPad, um, SD card reader, external hard drive. And then I will obviously also put my wallet in there too, but I need that before I fly tomorrow. This is all packed. I'm not gonna close it up yet because I'm gonna take out my laptop and iPad tonight to charge them. And then these didn't fit, so I will just wear them around my neck in the airport tomorrow. And then my chargers will just go right on top here. Okay, we're really rocking and rolling right now. I'm gonna start pulling products. This is the bag I use. I have two of them, hopefully won't need two today. They're from Amazon. I will link all my travel essentials down below. But I really like these. They're lined with this plastic thing, so they're very easy to clean in case there's a spill. Makeup on one side, skincare and body care on the other side. This is my makeup drawer, but I have decided I'm gonna do my makeup before I fly tomorrow because tomorrow's kind of a busy day. So I will pack my makeup in the morning as I'm doing it. So now for the skincare and body care. At this point in my travel career, because I've been traveling so much this spring, I actually have a lot of travel size products. And this cabinet is where I keep all my products in general, and it's kind of a house of horrors, and you will see why. This really needs to be organized, please don't judge me. But I keep this bag. This is completely a fake, by the way, from Amazon, but it's full of travel size products. I'm just gonna go through this and pull out things I need. I have stuff like this um, Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. I've never bought a full size of this, but I keep rebuying the travel size to travel with. I don't know why. A mini Isle of Paradise dark facial tanning drops to mix in with my moisturizer. I don't think Tanologist makes a travel size, but Isle of Paradise does. A mini Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. I keep this little tub and I just refill it from my big one whenever I need to. A mini Elemis cleansing balm, hand sanitizer. This is a mini of the Pharmacy Honey Halo, which is my favorite moisturizer. A mini leave-in conditioner spray. I don't think I'm gonna bring this one though. I have some other hair products I wanna bring. Um, this is a mini Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Marine Cream. This is amazing. I wish the full size wasn't so so expensive because this is really really good more hand sanitizer this bag that I keep hair ties and scrunchies in and then also this Hask hair mask in case I don't want to bring a full-size conditioner but because I'm gone for 10 days I think I am gonna have to bring one of those oh and then these are just um, like little cleaning tablets for my night guard also while I was in LA I went to the aloe at the Grove and I got this travel size kit Full of a lot of their products so some of these minis are products that i use all the time and i just have the travel size version and then some of them are products that i only use when i'm traveling just because they're nice products maybe they're too expensive to get the full size i don't know um what is this oh i do have a travel size day signature conditioner but i've taken this on a trip before so i'm not sure how much is left in here and then in the aloe set oh i have a little way body cleanser and a mini whey detox shampoo and then for the actual aloe stuff this is the enzyme facial cleanser i actually really really like this it's a little bit too harsh for me to use every single day because my skin is sensitive but when i do use it it feels really really nice i might get the full size and just have it on hand to use like once or twice a week and then i've never used these two before this is a head to toe glow oil and this is a facial moisturizer and i don't think i'm going to take these this time either i think i don't have travel size dry shampoo i think i've run out oh i'm annoyed at that i really thought i had some um i will simply have to get that when i'm there because i just don't have time to run out and get that now also i have this whole tray you guys know i'm a perfume girl i have this whole tray of travel size perfumes a lot of my favorites um just the travel size versions and some ones i don't even have in the full size so i pull my perfumes from here okay these are my two product bags minus my makeup which like i said i will just have to do um in the morning after i do my makeup for the day i think i've packed everything i can for tonight 